Welcome to Sex Education. In this video, we will discuss how to prevent, test for, and treat chlamydia and gonorrhea. For more information about each of these infections and the symptoms that come with them, please see our other videos. The only ways to prevent chlamydia and gonorrhea infection are to limit the number of new sexual partners, make sure any new partners are tested for any infections before sex, and always use a latex condom in the right way when having vaginal or anal sex, or a dental dam when having oral sex. Using other forms of birth control will not prevent STDs, so it's important to use a condom as well when having sex. For more information about how to properly use a condom, see our condoms video. Because many sexually transmitted diseases, or STDs, including gonorrhea and chlamydia, come with no symptoms, it's important to get tested regularly to check for them. This way, if someone has an infection and doesn't know about it, they can find out and avoid spreading it to others. Getting tested early can also help the infections get treated quickly, so they don't cause bigger problems. For more information about the types of diseases that gonorrhea and chlamydia cause, see the gonorrhea and chlamydia videos. For most people, checking for gonorrhea and chlamydia should be done every year. However, those who have symptoms of infection, have had sex with a partner who has an STD, or are at risk for infection, may need to be checked more often. You should talk to your healthcare provider to find out more about when and if you should be tested. In addition, you can ask for a test at any time, such as before having sex with a new partner or after having unprotected sex. Checking for gonorrhea and chlamydia is quick and easy. It can usually be done by getting a sample of your urine, which requires you to pee into a cup. Sometimes, the test is done using a cotton swab. In this case, the swab is gently rubbed in possible areas of infection, such as the vagina, cervix, urethra, throat, or anus, depending on the type of sex you're having. Testing for gonorrhea and chlamydia can be done at your doctor's office and at many clinics and health departments. Planned Parenthood also has clinics that test for these infections. Even though seeking out testing centers and requesting testing may be uncomfortable at first, it is a mature and responsible thing to do and is a way of keeping yourself and others healthy and safe. Therefore, you should never be embarrassed to have these conversations. Because gonorrhea and chlamydia are both infections caused by a bacteria, Treating them means you have to get antibiotics. The amount and type of antibiotic that you need to take depend on the infection and whether or not it has spread. In general, chlamydia infections that have not spread to other parts of the body can be treated with either a one-time dose of antibiotic taken by mouth or a seven-day course of another type of antibiotic taken by mouth. Gonorrhea is treated with a shot in the muscle of the arm or with medicine by mouth. If you are given any medication to continue at home, it's very important that you complete the full course of these medications. If you had symptoms of infection before starting the medicine and noticed them going away, it does not mean that you can stop the medicine and you should still take all of it as prescribed. If, on the other hand, you notice that your symptoms are still there even after you've been taking the antibiotic for multiple days, you should call your healthcare provider to talk about whether you should be seen again. In addition to you, your sexual partner or partners must be tested and treated as well. It's very important that you tell them about your infection and let them know that they need to be seen for treatment. Sometimes you may be given antibiotics for your partner to take as well. If this happens, it's very important that you tell them to take all of their medicine. Whether you are treated with a one-time dose of antibiotics or a seven-day course, you should wait a full seven days before having sex to make sure that the infection has fully gone away. When you do have sex after these seven days are over, 
make sure to use a latex condom to keep yourself protected from future infections. You can return to clinic after three months to get retested or sooner if you have new symptoms. Finally, having one sexually transmitted disease puts you at a higher risk for other infections as well, some of which are tested for in different ways. For more information about this, see our other videos. And as always, you can always reach out to your healthcare provider with any questions. Thank you so much for watching.